Squidman just woke up. Oh good, bet what the hell? Don't make me yawn. You can... I had to wait for a moment to like yell at you about that because I was like, if I yell too fast, I'm gonna yawn too. You know what? The rotation's really good for Barry at least. It's tower yeah. control, walleye, air... stop. <laughs> you know how many people you're gonna make yawn in the chat? <laughs> right, Vic, you just need to. <sighs> I'm not giving you the satisfaction. Also, Squidman, if someone wanted to date you, what would you tell them? It would I mean, depend on who it was, but if some stranger walked up to me and asked me, I would probably just laugh. If you ever want to approach someone you like, you need an excuse to approach them. So if you're going to approach me, you need a reason. Oh, if, you, um, if someone ran and just like, walked up to me and yeah, was like, hi, let's go out, I would laugh because like, there's no reason. I don't understand. Like, you don't know me. You're saying that they can't see your beautiful soul just by looking into your gorgeous eyes? That would just make me more concerning. Like, what do you actually like about me? Do you really like me? Or do you eyes, just have obviously. a fantasy built out of your you're own everything. head that has nothing to do with who I am, how I act, or my culture? I was on a blind date with someone and maybe 10 minutes in, they turn to me and they go, what's booby time? <laughs> because what is my most popular video on my channel, Vic Vion? <laughs> a funny video where I say a funny swear word a couple of times. Booby time, booby time. So I was like, oh, unlike awkward, it was like there was someone in chat who joined and played with us and named themselves booby time. And my brother, who they knew, screamed at him for an entire match. And they're like, okay. And I'm like, they're not convinced, panic. If you were to post content on OnlyFans, what would it be? I know exactly Ooh, what, Barry, I would what would you I would, um, I would go to a hardware store and buy as many cheap window fans as possible i'd assort them into this nice little setup maybe like a pyramid of fans and then i would post it stop because it would be a only <laughs> fan tell me you guys wouldn't do that no i would just post feet pics probably give them all your points everybody you yeah. could do that that is an option if you that, don't give them all way. your points bladeless fan might die Please. oh no we okay, need to raise him, support for bladeless him, fan i gave him 2000 points yeah let's all give, give bear a point so we don't let fan senpai die if That's Barry doesn't make it, he's gonna be a yeah, fan. Yeah, I feel, bit. I feel. Oh. Did we both think of the same joke? No, I'm just oh. concerned that we, if we don't make it, then that, and that's that fan on my conscience. So you know, I will just be blowing you down for the rest of the day. Wear your ugliest gear combo, Vic. Nice. Wait, can we all do it? All right. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> well, I don't even minute. know what ugly gear looks like. I don't have gear that looks like chat. Might um, take a minute. Wow. 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 Uh, all right, chat. Who wore the ugliest outfit? Wow. Uh, Oh, okay. All right. That's a pretty. Oh, that's a really. Okay. All right. All right. I got 7% of the vote. Everyone thinks I'm beautiful. I love to see it. Yay. I win. Yay. You Vic, you're ugly. Don't get one with 33%. I won. You sound it's like a Mario Party off. character. I'm the winner. Squidman has to speak in rhyming couplets for the next round. This is going to be quite the round. There's a party that's all around um there was something awkward that i found when scrolling through the general chat now if you're wondering where it's at you might click back in general chat and explain to me what you see in the general chat because that's where it's at oh god you're talking about that image there's an um, image from titanic stream and i just am wondering what it means and where it's we, from you did have 3k um, last round too hold on hold on hold on i'm about to ask a very important question to see the validity of Astro's astronauting. Yeah. Who turned 91 the other day? Uh, I huh? definitely saw a tweet about this. Uh, I want to say Buzz Aldrin. He's an astronaut, guys. He's a captain and an astronaut. I do have to say, if you are working on presentations and you want to improve how you talk, every time you think you're going to hesitate or do one of those uh things, breathe in. If you look out the left side of the plane, you will see that we're coming up on the beautiful beach of Southern California. Uh, <laughs> <Sorry. I'm sorry. laughs> so my, my students have to give a like one to two minute presentation every Thursday or Friday True. class that they have. And when I first started, they all looked very upset about these and they were all very bored. Everyone's like, I hate presentations and I have to get up and talk about why should we should recycle or food or something. I'm like, you guys are having no fun with this. You get to talk about whatever you want for two minutes in front of your friends. It's so boring. Why is it boring? After giving one presentation to be like, look, I can present. Now all the classes are like, okay, you have to present every class. And I'm just like, oh, great. And one of my classes was like random number between one and number of students in this class. Okay, you select my presentation topic. They're like, 
This one. Why is recycling important? I'm just like, ugh, that's the last thing I want to talk about. I started my presentation by like laughing. I'm like, today <laughs> I get to talk about <laughs> something I really don't care about talking about because I can't tell you <laughs> how many of the same stupid presentations you have probably heard on this topic. And I went and like basically gave a presentation about how we should blow up the earth and like move to another planet just so they didn't hear the same presentation. Nice. Trying to help them think outside the box. Recycling is not important. When you blast what? off a rocket, you got to uh, no, have recycling a Recycling is space. definitely important. I'm going to give that one a Tim Allen out of beneath. 10. <laughs> you gotta have a space beneath the rocket to like just incinerate so you can get the rocket into space, right? We got to have something to burn up and destroy so we can get our species into the galactic Federation. The galactic sphere. Who needs the Earth, right? Just, just, just don't recycle. I hear the words you're saying, and I'm concerned because I know there are probably children out there watching who think you are being serious right now. Well, that's the point. You can give the wrong opinion on purpose to like help people think critically. What if they don't? And then that's on them, not on me. No, because you're the one providing them with the wrong information. Not I'm a sure good that thing. someone along their way in their life, if they're like, we shouldn't recycle, we need to get into space, would probably be like, where did you hear that from? Why are you trusting what some random YouTuber says? And then they'll learn two lessons along the way. But I have a big clam, I get points. Oh, we already had the lead. That's a lot less intense. But... Yeah, yeah. Just, just rub it in, Big Theon. We already have the lead. <laughs> oh my god. Stream's officially cursed, everybody. We made it an hour 49 minutes, and now it's cursed. <laughs>